Hey guys, I hope you're doing well and welcome back to another video. So in this one we are going to talk about how we can control our character's position when we start our game and also how we can change the character. In order to be able to control this system properly, first you need to know how this works. So when you open up a third person template and hit play, you are able to control your third person character and it will be spawned at this location. We have a player start actor here and when you play the game your character will be spawned at this location. But let's see what's behind this system. So first of all let's go to our project settings and here in maps and modes you can see that you have a default game mode. Game modes are basically the rules of your game and here you can see that the game mode which is assigned to the third person template map is bp third person game mode okay now browse to asset by clicking on this button here and as you can see this is the game mode open it up and here in the classes you can see that we have a default pawn class and it's our third person character which is this actor here so when you play the game your level will read this a uh, game mode here and the game mode tells the engine that it should uh, spawn this bp third person character and as i said before the location of your uh, player will be defined using this player start actor here. So wherever you put it, your player will be spawned at that location. You should also be careful about the collision and when it's going through some other object, you will see this error here. So make sure that it's placed properly. And now when you hit play, you can see that your character will be spawned at the location of this actor. As you probably have noticed yourself before, there is a blue arrow here on your player start actor. This defines the direction of your character when it's spawned at your level. So for example, if we rotate it like this and play the level, our character will be faced this way. There is another thing here that you can do to spawn your character based on the location of the camera and ignore this player start here all you need to do is to hit this icon here and here in the spawn player at section change your default player start to current camera location now you can see that when you hit play your character will be spawned at the location of your camera There is also another way to control the character that is being spawned in your level. You can drag your third person blueprint into the level and then here in the details tab you can scroll down to the pawn options and here you can see that you have an auto poses player option. When you put it on player 0, this character will be possessed automatically and you can see that it ignores this player start actor here and it possesses the third person character that you dragged into the level okay now let's create a new project and put what we learned into practice so here create a new project create a blank one so we are able to add everything ourselves and define the location of the project and hit create Alright, so this is a blank project and we don't have any third person or first person assets here. We have this player start position here, but there is nothing assigned to it. So when you hit play, you can see that it's just a camera and we don't have the characters. So let's say that we want to add a third person character. First, you need to hit add here and add feature or content pack. 
and add the third person uh, contents to your project so select it add to project and now you can see that we have the third person character and also the game mode now what you need to do is to go to your project settings here in maps and modes put your default game mode on BP third person game mode and now you can see that when you hit play your third person character will be spawned and will be controllable based on this uh, player start actor position or you can just keep this on game mode base and override your uh, game mode on your world settings so here you can see that we have a game mode override option so if you drag it right here it will override your project settings and it will work as well you can also do this for your first person character as well so if you want to have your first person just uh, go to your content folder hit add add the first person contents and then here just use your BP first person game mode Again, you can just override it in your world settings or you can use it in your uh, project settings. Now, if you hit play, you can see that your first person character is being used here. We also have the gun, so if you just drag it into the level, you can see that you can grab it and use it like your first person template. Yeah, that's it guys for this video and I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you guys for watching and if you learned something new from this tutorial, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Peace out.